Hello, today we are going to show you how easy it is to send data from the automation platform to AWS or Amazon Web Services. Uh, first of all, we need to create uh, or log in in our own account on AWS. Okay, so once you log it in, you need to uh, first of all to create a thing on and under the IoT core. You go here and Amazon Web Service IoT service. Go to manage, go to things, and let's create a new thing, all right? So you will be creating just only a single thing, okay? Create a single thing. Here, give it a name, anything you want to fill it up, and hit on next, okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create just one, just to see. Okay, hit on next. And then you need to create a certificate uh, which it will be the security for the communication between the automation platform and AWS broker. Um, we can use the first one that is one click certificate creation recommended. Okay. If you hit on create certificate, okay, right here, <clears throat> you will be prompt, prompt to this window in which you will need only three certificates. In this case, you will be, you will be going to need only the public, not the public certificate. So that's the one that we need to discard. That's this one. You don't have to use this one. So you're going to use only the one that is the thing certificate, that is the first one, and the third one that is private key, all right? And there's another certificate, uh, which is for the root certificate from AWS, which you will need to activate, first of all, here. Go here, click on activate, and then hit on download, all right? You will be prompted from a re, to a repository, okay? So you're going you are going to select the first one, this RSAA 24-bit RS, <clears throat> key, Amazon root TA1, okay? So hit on here, and this is pretty much the certificate for the root of AWS. So you are going to select it, okay? Or even more, you want you need to you can select it right here, right click. Okay, or save as. Okay, so if you save as, you are going to save as a uh, extension dot pam. Okay, go to the txt. All right, and if you want it, you can uh, download it and save it as in any kind of directory in your PC. All right. So going back to uh, AWS, remember you need to download the certificate from the thing and the certificate for private key and also the root that you already uh, generated, right? So you need to uh, download it and, and in this case save it in any directory from your PC, okay? So going back again to the uh, to the to the thing that you already created here. Uh, once you create also the, once you download the, the whole certificates, you go to attach policy bottom right here, click on it. And this kind of policy means that uh, what kind of action you can do under your broker, under your certificate, under your connection between Vnode, in this case, and your AWS broker, okay? So if you want to create a, any policy, you can do it right now. Or if you if you already have created another one in the past, you can select it right here, okay? So I, actually, I'm, I'm going to use the one that, it, that says uh, Vnode policy, okay? If you can see on view, there's pretty much an, an action, which is mean that action uh, with an asterisk, which means that you can do everything. You can connect to any kind of, of client or any kind of broker, okay? There's like a uh, a free connection. I don't know, like there is like a, a free pass for everything you, you need to do on the action on the broker, okay? So be careful once you create your, uh, your uh, policy uh, to use that this kind of syntaxes like ILT the points and asterisk, okay, and that that's it. Now select your policy, okay, and attach the policy register thing, and that's it. So everything is created in this case. Everything is done, actually. So what about if we can see how can we configure also our Vino platform to communicate to to this uh, broker on Amazon Web Services, all right? So first of all, we need to go to our Vino uh, platform. Remember now you can hit, once the Vino is installed on the same computer, hit localhost and the port number 88003, okay? 
this is the registration uh, uh, web page. In this case, there's the username, admin, and the password is venal on couple on uh, case sensitive. So there's pretty much the configuration panel for Venal. Okay. So if you go to system under system and uh, config, you must need to create a model right here, and you hit on that button and select new model, okay? Once you select that new model, it will be prompted through this part in which you will be selecting from the drop down the model which which allows the communication to AWS, okay? So you're going to use the MQTT client model, okay? Select it, hit on save right here, and it will be showing up again at your, at your left side of the panel, okay? Right here. So you go here, you select it, select this bottom and create a new connection, which is means that you are going to create a connection to connect or to communicate to any kind of broker, okay? I already created a AWS broker connection. Uh, you can do it, it's not a big deal. So once you go here, you give it a name and then you select from this drop down which kind of destination broker you are going to send information, publish information to. So if you are working with Amazon, Web services you can select it as we are doing in this video. But if you have any uh, Azure IoT Hub or even Google IoT Core or any other broker uh, on the market which is not in a standard, it's pretty much customized. You can select it right here and make a connection. Okay, it will it is really uh, useful to connect to Mosquito broker to any kind of MTT broker on the market. Okay, so you select Amazon Web Services for this kind of communication. Okay. And then right here, you are going to select the certificates, which you already uh, downloaded and saved in any kind of your directory of your PC, and use the certificate, the private key, and the root CA certificate, okay? So just hit on the bottom of the three points, select the file, which in this case, certificate is the, in this case, the, the thing certificate, the private key certificate, and the root CA that you already downloaded, okay? You can see right here, I'm going to show you right here, AWS search, I already downloaded. So I had the private, the root, and the thing certificate, the, with, which is the, the, term, uh, the extension of the certificate is CRT for the thing certificate. There is private key with key cert, uh, extension, and there is root CA cert, which is the extension .pme, PM, okay? Okay, so going back here, once you do this, you go back here and set the protocol for the MQTT communication for uh, AWS is MQTTS, it's kind of security. The broker URL, which uh, you, can, you can look at right here, actually, on settings under your IoT core, okay? So this is pretty much, I'm sorry, this is pretty much your IoT um, and your URL from your broker, okay? And put, okay, you cut here, go back here, and paste it right here. You can use the port 8883, uh, which is the default for MQTTS, okay? And there you go, you need to type any kind of sign ID, which is the identificator uh, in the communication from the Beano and uh, from Beano and in this case, AWS. You must type anything, any kind of client ID name you want it, okay? And hit on save, okay? And then go back here, right click under your your new connection you created, and in this case, create a new publisher, okay? If you new publisher, you will be prompt to this part, which means you have to create a topic or in, or uh, if you know a topic on the AWS, like a standard topic or default topic, uh, you can write it down, okay? In this case, I created a topic by myself. There's not a big deal. Remember, on MQTT, you can create your own topic also under the broker. So what, which is what, what means the, the topic in this case? The topic is pretty much the path in which the data will be published under the broker, okay? So I created this like a Vnode, Vnode MQTT ID, office, uh, simulation, and slash data, okay? This is pretty much the, the path of where the data will be updated or published right there, okay? There's a QSO, okay? And going back here, there's like a, a tag filler, okay? There's a tag filler, which means that what kind of tags or which tags you want to be publishing under those topics, on, on the, that topic actually.
Okay, so I already created uh, this tax, which is which means some there are there are tax that are coming from any kind of uh, data source such as PLC, DCS, OPC server, OPC UA server. Uh, files, text files, whatever you need. So remember that Venom is like a gateway which is collects information from any kind of data source, including those PLC, PLCs, RTUs, OPC servers, or whatever you need. So I create some tags that are coming from any kind of PLC. You go here on tags. I create it on a simulation um, group. There is like a total power, total temp power, current, show status, ambient, humidity, whatever you need. So I select already the total power tag, okay? You can see in real time, on here, there's the total power, it's changing, it's like the dating actually, okay, it's like a random tag. So uh, that's pretty much the tag that I, that I want to publish on, on that on that uh, uh, topic, okay? So if we go back here, uh, I'm gonna here, put this right there, go back here, so you can select the, the tag name, in this case, this is the path where the tag is located, same total power, okay? You create a tag filler, and hit on save, okay? And that's it. You, we, we already finished the communication from uh, Vino platform and um, AWS. Okay, so how can I test if the communication is working well? If we are sending data, we are publishing data to the broker. How can we do it? So let's go back to AWS IoT Core. Go back here and um, go to test application. In this case, that's test feature. Feature. Okay. Um, there's like a subscription topic. Which is mainly if you select or if you type the, the topic that you already predefined on Vino right here on, on the on the topic under the publisher. You select that topic, you paste it, copy and paste it right here. Okay. If you paste it, it will be like testing if anything uh, is publishing on that under that topic actually. So a published topic, and you will see that there is some data that is coming from the sim total power tag that you already saw, and there is the quality, the value, and the timestamp too. Okay, there's pretty much uh, some kind of uh, updates from the same tag. All right. So basically, this is how you can test it, um, the communication, how you can how you can send data pretty much easy from uh, Pinot platform and AWS too. There's like a uh, it's a native communication that we got, we already developed, and you can send information from any kind of data. So remember, from any kind of PLC or PC server, remember that Vino can uh, act as an input uh, gateway, which is which will allow that it will collect information from any kind of data source, okay? So if you have any kind of questions, uh, uh, please do not hesitate and contact us uh, to the emails or the phone number that we'll be posting here on that video. Okay, so thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Have a great day.